It is Friday, the 29th of December. So we have today, we have tomorrow, which is the 30th, and then New Year's Eve is Sunday. Monday is New Year's Day. And Monday, we might be closed, we might be open. It all depends on how many cars we sell because we need 13 more new cars. If we get those new cars before the end of business on Saturday, we do not have to open on Monday. If we don't, we're opening on Monday. I'm currently looking for this Traverse. Where did it go? This is a problem. I'm looking for a particular Traverse DRAC car, one of our loaner cars, and I can't seem to find it. It should still be available. I have to send some pictures to a customer of mine that we're working some numbers up on. That ain't it. Must be in the back. It's in the back. But why is it in the back? Is it sold already? There is no sold sign in it. You know, actually, I think I parked this here. I think this needs photos, and that's why it's back here. Photos for our website. We have a company that comes in and does it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to the side. I'm gonna take some photos of it to send to my customer so they can see what it's all about. And hopefully we can wrap this deal up today. This customer already has a Traverse, so I just need to take some photos of some different angles so they can kind of see the color. I'll do the interior. This way they can see that it does have the, the sunroof. It's got the 3LT premium package. And then that's pretty much all I got to do. I'm just going to text them over to them. Do like a wide angle. Interior shot. I'll get one from the back corner and that should do the trick. This is a 3LT, like I said, with a premium package. So it has in-dash nav. It has the extra cameras. So you get the bird's eye view, you get the front back camera, you get the rear camera mirror. It has the 20 inch wheels. It has the Bose stereo system and it does have the sunroof over our head. So brand new, this truck was around 49,000. Uh, this particular one has 3,200 miles on it, 3,211 to be exact, because again, it was one of our service loaners. So they're saving some money because of that. We have the lease set up with 1500 down. They're trying not to put any money down, so I'm gonna to talk to Sal, see what I can do and how I can maybe alleviate that uh, 1500 and keep the payments relatively close to where they're at. This customer has bought cars for me in the past. Actually, he used to work here uh, temporarily uh, for a small period of time. He worked here, gotta be at least 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. I've been relatively busy the last few days. We've delivered a number of vehicles uh, right around the Christmas holiday, some right before, some right after. We did, let me see if I can remember here, we did a black Chevy Trax, we did a Trailblazer RS, we did a Chevy Bolt Redline, we did a Trail Boss Silverado. I spotted a blue Equinox the other night. Uh, we're working some deals, like I said today. I just found out this morning that I had a deal on a Silverado I was working, which is a duplicate of, let me find it for you, this one right here. It's a dark ash metallic crew cab. Now we have the short bed, right? That's this truck right here. I found a duplicate of this truck, which is what I need. The problem is the dealership that has it uh, had a deal on it, or I'm sorry, they were working a deal on it, and they said if they don't sell the truck, they'll give it to us. I just found out about five minutes ago they did in fact sell the truck, so I no longer have that one available to me, so I gotta try to find another one. The main reason the gentleman needs the uh, standard box, where this is the short box, is he puts an ATV in it and needs to get the ATV in with the gate closed. Cannot do it in this truck. Everything I have at the moment in a crew cab is the short box. In fact, I don't even have a standard box in the group, meaning all five of my Schumacher locations. So I'm gonna go inside, try to figure out that, get another one that maybe we could sell him. All right, ready? I need to talk loud. You can be in the video. Nope, not happening. All right. Not up in here. Not up in here. <laughs> We're working with um, the Drac Traverse from yesterday. Okay. This is good. The 533. It's $100 more a month than you're paying now. Here's the thing. We need to do it without the 1500 down. And I can probably get it done today. I'm saying, I'm texting photos. I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing my best. It's a previous customer of ours. Used to be an employee here way back in the day for a short period of time. Different ownership, but doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um... So, can you help me? I got all the texts here that we can go through. We're trying. Oh, 
the Silverado at the other Chevy store. They sold it. So we gotta try to find another one. I could do that myself. I'll look up that. So what's the sudden change with the money down? Uh, they don't have it. That makes sense. Well, you know, they'd rather do it with nothing down at the moment. But the payment, they can work with that payment. If there's anybody that can get it done, <laughs> Sal, it is you. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Okay, so we're at 543 with only the first payment due with signing of 543. I'm also working a deal with a previous customer of mine whose lease is ending on an Equinox RS, a black one, just like this one, this one, or this one. Yes, we have three of the exact same vehicle, which is good because that gives me some power with the desk, my sales manager, to say, listen, previous customer, he bought three vehicles for me in the past. We have three of these that we can sell them, so they're in stock and we have multiple of them. So let's put a deal together that's very aggressive and let's get this deal on the road. Now we spoke last night and he did in fact actually shop us against another local Chevy store that's not a Schumacher location and they came in less. However, he doesn't know how much the vehicle was that they were pricing up for him. He just said it was an RS. Now we have another RS, which is I think down this way. Now let me just show you the difference here because the one we priced up originally is like a $38,000, $39,000 RS like this one. This one here is a base RS, this is like 34,000. Cloth interior, no sunroof, no tech package, it's a lot less equipment. And I checked the inventory for the store that he was at and they have one that is also less equipment. It's like a $36,000 Equinox. And that would explain the difference in the pricing. So hopefully he confirmed that up and find out that it was in fact less equipment. I sent him the window sticker for ours and a much more aggressive price on ours. So I'm thinking I can possibly close this deal today as well, if not today, hopefully by tomorrow. I really don't know what the people at GM are thinking that on December 29th, they decided to launch a new portal for Global Connect. Global Connect is a system that we use for literally everything GM, locating vehicles, setting up OnStar, doing my rewards, all the features we need, for me anyway, do not work because I keep getting error messages, little spinny circles, and all the apps that I need that are in this program fail to load. So why they would decide to update and re-engineer the portal and then launch it Two days before the end of the year. I just finished up with an appointment that was scheduled for 12 o'clock on a new vehicle. They have an Equinox lease coming due. Again, previous customer of the store. Showed them a tracks, showed them an Equinox, worked numbers up on both. They just left. They're doing some shopping still and they're kind of figuring their things out. But we gave them all the information that they needed and we'll see if they choose to go with one of our Chevrolets. This sold sign that I have right here is for the Traverse loaner car we were talking about earlier. We did put that deal together. Those clients will be here around three o'clock. It's currently 1240. So when they show up, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully have the majority of that ready. They had already submitted their credit application online. They sent me pictures of their license, their insurance card registration. I can get everything ready for the vehicle. I'm gonna put it on the detail board to have it cleaned. And then uh, this way, when they do get here, they can drive it, make sure it's what they want. And as long as they're happy, they can move forward. This tracks I just showed is an LS trim level. So that one we have available. It's good that we need some cars sold by the end of the month. We just got a bunch delivered. So over here, we have a whole bunch of Trailblazers and Traxxas. We did get a couple of Equinoxes in. We got a Suburban in, which is something we really need. And if you look over here, we also have more Trailblazers, Traxxas, and I don't know where they are, but we have like three Chevy Blazers that came in. So we do have a bunch of inventory that we can sell, which is what we need to do. And we have, I think, five Chevy Bolts that are down at the port. I don't know if they're going to get here in time, but they're all sold. So if we can get those five vehicles up from the port, we can get all those delivered by the end of the month as well. What's up, Sal? Not up in here. Not up in here. <laughs> and we just put the deal together on 
the Black Equinox RS. I almost forgot. It's been a busy day. It's actually this RS trim level Equinox that we went with. Now you might ask me, Dave, why did we go with this one? There's three that are all identical. What would make you choose this one? Well, this one has technically been here the longest at 50 days. It's been in inventory for 50 days. The other ones were only in inventory for, for you know, 20 or I think one was in the teens. So we always try to sell the uh, older vehicles first. And this even being 50 days is not really considered an old age unit as of yet. And folks, we're gonna end the video right here because I got a lot of work I gotta do. This is essentially what we do all day. We talk to customers, we work deals, we try to get cars sold. Once they're sold, we do a bunch of paperwork. This is Dealership Life with Dave B, Sell Chevy.